Hi, I'm Nixie, and today I'm going to be having a look at this doll who comes with a load of travel accessories. So on the back of the box, it shows you everything that comes with it, and also a Chelsea doll in the same range. And here she is out of the box. Now, I got this set, and it was either 16 or 17 pounds in B&M, which I thought was a pretty good price. Now, the doll herself is the sort of basic standard-looking Barbie. She has a pixelated face, as they usually do. She does, however, have a more honey blonde hair than the usual sort of brighter blonde. Clothing-wise, she's wearing a top and a skirt. Unfortunately, they are both attached to each other and they're just velcroed at the back. I'm kind of wondering if I could maybe unpick it and just keep the skirt, because I like this skirt. The top, less so. I don't know how much it shows on camera, but I'm wondering if this should have been white. It sort of looks a bit cream and faded. But anyway, it's um, got a little cute pink sort of stitching details just to add interest and the scene it's sort of a sunset and a car. Her shoes are some white trainers which not too bad and she also was wearing these sunglasses and I actually quite like the design I think they look kind of cool. And then by way of articulation it's standard sort of head shoulders and leg movement and personally I'm not the biggest fan of when they come with an arm that's sort of very fixed like this. If it's going to have sort of basic articulation, I prefer to have straight arms because I just find this is a bit limiting. However, in the box, she had an arm like that so she could hold on to her pet dog. The dog's quite cute, but I wasn't really in it for the pets. What I was in it was for all the other accessories. This is one of the items I was really wanting, this cool pink suitcase. So it's quite a decent size, says Barbie on it does have a pull-up handle. Unfortunately the wheels don't work but it opens up and there's quite a lot of room inside and it's nice it's got these sort of um, molded details. Then there was this pink backpack so it's got printed sort of sticker details, B for Barbie, we've got molded zip here and sort of zip like a tassely bit. The bag in the top, it does sort of open, it's quite solid because it's made of like a rubbery material but you could put some things in there and again like I said the all rubbery so the straps are kind of rubbery and it's got a little handle there but it's quite cute. Next we have a silver camera and it is all just solid one colour. We have a pink face mask some pink headphones, it's got quite a cute little star detail there. A neck pillow with quite a cute little cat face. Uh, this I'm assuming is a water bottle, I'm not 100% sure on that. It's hollow in the bottom, it's got a little heart pattern on it. We have a purple mobile phone that does have a sort of hook here so you can slot your Barbie's hand through. We have a toothbrush and toothpaste. We have this, which I'm not 100% sure again. I'm wondering if this is a luggage tag, but not 100% sure. And then finally, we have a set of stickers. And here we've got Barbie with just a few of the items there. Now, as I said, I wasn't getting this set, obviously, for the Barbie. I'm not really interested in a pixelated standard looking Barbie. I was getting it for the accessories, and specifically for my doll Rachel here, who is actually going on holiday in a few weeks' time. So bye bye Barbie, we're just gonna need to borrow some of your stuff. Now Rachel here really loves the colour pink, which is why I thought this suitcase would potentially be quite appropriate. Now last week I did open up a mini fashion capsule and got this luggage, which means I do have options because I don't 100% know if I want her suitcase to say Barbie on it or if I want it plainer. But let's have a quick comparison. So the Barbie one is quite a lot bigger so she can fit more clothes in. This one however does have real working wheels which is nice. I could always sort of add some decorations maybe like the luggage tag or make a new luggage tag that is pink just to sort of give it a pink hint for her. Now size wise I actually think either would work. This one it sort of maybe just could do with being a touch longer to reach her hand but it doesn't look ridiculous with her like it doesn't look too small and if you're only going for a short trip which is what she is doing this one could potentially be better. This one it's actually almost the opposite it's slightly high I mean I think by the time you do that sort of all right so 
height-wise of the handle, better. And like I said, size should be fine with that. So I've got options. I definitely have options for what suitcase she's going to take with her. Just to throw something else into the mix, although I don't think it would be the option I'd go for, this arrived yesterday. It's from AliExpress and my goodness, it is really adorable. So it's actually, I believe, a sort of um, business card holder, but it is amazing, sort of like a briefcase. Look how detailed it is. It even has like the little latches and that's how it opens. So cute. So, so it's got a little bit of space in there and look at the hinges. Oh, I am actually really in love with it. So, like I said, not necessarily what I would give her to take on holiday, but just because we're in that sort of realm of luggage and bags, I thought I would show this off. It's maybe a touch big for a Barbie. Let's bring you over here, love. Like, it, it, it's big. So I'd say it is more on the sort of, rather than like a briefcase you take into work, it is more like the sort of suitcase size, but maybe not quite as sort of like deep, but it's cool. I, I just, I had to, I absolutely had to. Now also by way of backpacks, I do have this mini fashion one. I mean, for Rachel, I would rather it be more pink than this, which puts a plus on this one, but I like the fact that this is material, it's squidgy, it's one sort of a bit, a bit solid and I don't know, having all the moulded details, I like these ones that have a lot more sort of actual sort of details. So potentially we will be going for this one for her. I mean they both come with those sort of printed stickers, so I'd say they're reasonably sort of comparable. This one doesn't have a like front pocket, but then again this front pocket is fake. So it's all about sort of putting stuff inside. Now by way of phones, this one came with a purple one, which obviously Rachel has to have a pink phone. And I do have this. Now I do have another one that's a metallic pink, which is the one I tend to use for her, but I can't find where on earth it's got to. So if I can't find it, I do at least have this pink backup. And this one's made of metal and this one's plastic. This one obviously does have the loop to put it on the doll's hand, this one doesn't, so probably need like a little bit of blue tag if you want her to hold it. Now one thing that this set didn't include, but I've just grabbed out of a Barbie extra fly set, is a passport. I mean you can't get on a plane if you don't have a passport, not if you want to go international. This one's a little bit boring however because it's just plain cardboard inside, so I have printed off and made my own. Here it is. Now it is in the new UK blue colour. I still have the old one, the maroon one, but whenever I next change, I'm guessing it's going to be blue. So we have that and I have even printed a little inside bit. So it's got her face. Hopefully she will not get stopped now by border control. The face mask, I like that it's pink. I'm not sure if it's needed as much anymore. Like, there aren't the rules the same as they were a few years ago about wearing masks, but it's pink, so if I do need it, it will suit her. The camera, it's a bit boring being all one colour, so either I try paint it, but I'm not even that keen on this camera style. So I do have some options. Now I have these two. This one is the more detailed one, and it came from a mini fashion capsule, but it is red, which... Maybe not really her style. This one came, I think it was lorry dolls, I think that's what they're called. Um, it's purple. So again, not quite pink, but my opinion is most people use their phones nowadays. They don't take cameras like extra luggage. Not unless you're like a professional photographer. So potentially she is just going to stick with her phone. Toothpaste and toothbrush, however, she will need. But these are a little bit boring because they're all in colour, so I think I might just paint them just to bring out some of the details. So I think just like a little bit of white paint, just to said, make it look a bit more like a real toothbrush. Okay, so there we go. Toothpaste got white bristles now. Add a little bit of white to the cap and the bottom there of the toothpaste and just covered over Barbie in some pen. 
Is it just to bring out the details a little bit? So now she has her toothpaste and toothbrush, always important to take on holiday. The headphones are pink, so already suit her quite well. You know what, I think I'd like to make her an eye mask, just in case she wants to nap on the plane. It is only short haul, but I don't want to deny her the opportunity. So I've made this little paper pattern, so it sort of fits over her. I have some pink felt, and I'm just going to fold it in two and cut out two. Just carefully cut around. So there we go, I've got two now, and let's just grab her to double check it fits on her face. Okay, I think that will work. And so now I've got it on one of the halves, I'm going to use some elastic thread and just pop it through and put it through this side too. And then just to make sure it's secure, I'm going to go back through again. So then we end up with two loops and I'm just going to put it on her face just to make sure we get the length right before we tie it up. So that seems to be a good length, sort of just tucked behind her ears and covers her face nicely so I'm going to tie these two together like so and I've just cut the ends as well to make it a bit shorter and then with the other piece I'm just going to glue it over the top so it'll just hide all these extra little bits. And then we have our finished sleep mask. Okay, so lastly, I'm going to try and make one of these in pink. So again, I'm going to use some felt material, but first I'm just going to sort of sketch around this to get a basic shape. So now we have a template to use. And then with the cutout template, I'm going to fold up some more felt and put it on and cut around. So here is our shape. And now I've got to attempt some hand sewing, which I'm not great at, but we're going to have a go. So needle thread, and I'm going to sew all the way around but leave a gap up here so that we can turn it inside out. I'm going to have to be quite near to the edge because I couldn't really allow much seam allowance because of this middle bit here. So good. We're, we're going to try and do our best and that's a great start. <gasps> okay, I have managed some sewing. I think it was back stitch I used. Looks neater on the front, messier on the back. But let's hope that was the right stitch to do, and let's hope I can actually turn this inside out. It's going to be a bit stiff, I'm sure, but we will try our best. Okay, so this is it turned inside out. You can sort of see the stitching is not the neatest. Maybe I should have just tried to machine sew it. But... I'm now going to put a bit of fluff in here and then attempt to sew it up. So just add the fluff inside just so it's more of a pillow. Maybe okay, there's my attempt. It's ended up a little bit lopsided here. It needs to be a bit smaller here or a bit bigger here. Either or. But shape wise, like round the neck, I think this is going to work. Now let's try the pillow around her neck. So she's got her eye mask for sleeping and comfy neck pillow. And to be fair, it does fit round her neck quite well. I'm pleased with that. Just if my stitching was a little bit more consistent and we we're a little less lumpy, I think it would be perfect. Now, obviously, you could add ears if you just sort of stitched those in and did some stitch detail for the face. I just thought I'd try simple because I knew this maybe wasn't going to look the most beautiful, but it's pink. So it's more suitable for Rachel, I feel. Okay, so Rachel now is looking a bit more prepared for going on holiday, but let's make that luggage tag for her. So I'm going to be using some pink cardboard. So I've cut out this sort of, I guess, like cricket bat shape and folding that over, folding that over. In this front side, I'm very carefully going to cut out a rectangular window. So we have a hole there and I cut this little just cut here. Because essentially what we want to do is fold it and this is how we're going to be putting it on and off. Just slip that through there. And then on the inside I've just glued a bit of white paper with her name on. But I've left sort of it so there wasn't any glue in the middle there. So we should still be able to slot this in. And therefore we can put it round luggage. And there we go, we have a little luggage label should we need one. Because I'm not 100% sure if that's what that was meant to be. Sort of slot it, I don't know, through there and 
put it around the cake. I like I said, I'm not sure if that is, if, if you know what that is meant to be. If it's not a luggage label, please do let me know. But we now have our own little cardboard one. There we go, though. I think she's going to be at least ready for the plane. She just needs to pack her clothes now, although not quite yet. It's still a couple of weeks. Interestingly, it is actually a location on here. She will be going to Paris in a few weeks' time. So hopefully she can get a nice picture with the Eiffel Tower. Now that we've got some of the essentials sorted, I will let Rachel go and choose what outfit she wants to take with her. But thank you very much for watching as we made a couple of little crafts and checked out the Travel Barbie accessories. If you did like this video, please do hit thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos, do subscribe and I'll see you all soon. Bye!